People on China's Lus Plateau were among the earliest adopters of settled agriculture, approximately 10,000 years ago. They worked hard and over time created one of the most accomplished civilizations the world has ever seen. But their history also illustrates the impact that human beings have had on the earth. Degradation of the land has led to biodiversity loss, fresh water stress, food insecurity, long entrenched poverty, and even climate change. Their descendants' efforts to restore the environment are now revealing solutions to many of the fundamental problems that our world faces. Attention must be paid, because in many ways, for China and for the world, ensuring a sustainable future will depend on how well we learn the lessons of the Lus Plateau. High up in the Tibetan Plateau, in what is now China's Qinghai province, a river once known as the Mother River begins. The river runs from west to east, south of the vast Mongolian steppe. It was here along this river that several tribes emerged. One tribe was extraordinarily successful. This is the birthplace of the Han race, the ethnic group to which the majority of Chinese people belong. Stretching over 640,000 square kilometers and encompassing parts of seven different Chinese provinces, the Lus Plateau is approximately the size of France. The plateau gets its name from its most abundant feature. Lus is a sedimentary soil that was created by glaciers moving in the high Himalayas and deposited by wind on the plateau below over geologic time. In places, the Lus deposits can be hundreds of meters thick. When there is normal vegetation cover, providing organic matter in the soil, Lus is very fertile. And if you dig in certain parts of it, you're sure to strike history. The plateau at one time must have been a wonderfully nurturing place. This forest is in Sichuan, just to the southwest of the Lus Plateau. This grassland is part of the Mongolian steppe to the northeast of the Lus Plateau. These ecosystems were once contiguous and it was a pristine mixed forest and grassland ecosystem that gave rise to the most populous ethnic group on the planet. There is evidence that humans and their ancestors have lived on the Lus Plateau for a million and a half years. Many believe that the plateau was second only to Mesopotamia in the spontaneous development of agriculture. For many millennia, the Lus Plateau was the center of power and affluence in ancient China. The Han, the Qin, and the Tang dynasties were all based here. But as the civilization grew, so did the demand for natural resources. 
at the same time as the art, the architecture, and great wealth was being amassed. The seeds of destruction were being sown in the deforestation of the land and the continuous use of destructive agricultural practices. Eventually, the forests were gone. When the people began to cultivate the hillsides, the productivity began to decline. They responded to this by relying more and more on herding sheep and goats in large numbers, with disastrous results. By 1,000 years ago, the wealthy and powerful had long since left this area, ending an era in Chinese history. In 1995, when we began our documentation of the Luce Plateau, we found a landscape that was virtually denuded of vegetation. Enormous gullies that ran thick with eroded soils when it rained had earned the plateau the dubious honor of being the most eroded place on Earth. Over time, we learned that the fundamental ecological systems on which life depends had collapsed, leaving millions of people in a cycle of poverty and ecologic destruction that passed from generation to generation. Oh, yeah, 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 o